What's going on YouTube? It's Jacobus RC where we buy, bash, and build, use RC cars. And I'm actually on my way to my favorite RC spot or new favorite RC spot that I found out. Check it out. Now, if you stumbled on this video, then you probably have this problem right here. Basically, what was happening was that when I accelerated, the car didn't move and I figured out the fix. So I'm over here right now, gonna start up my car and you guys are gonna see that this fix actually works. So let's do a couple of quick passes, then we'll go back home, tear the car apart and see exactly what was wrong with it how I fixed it and how you guys can fix it too. So let's get right into it. All right, let's not try to get it too dirty. Do a couple more passes just so you guys can see. And we'll take it home and show you guys how I fixed it. All right, so I just did some quick passes up and down this little dirt area over here got it a little bit dirty but no problem we'll take it back home take it apart or take apart that wheel show you guys what i did to fix my issue with the car not accelerating under throttle and just so you guys know this is gonna still be the same car when i take it back home i'm not playing no tricks over here this is you know have a good look at it it's still dirty and it's gonna be dirty when we take it back home so let's go head on over all right, so I'm back inside. I'll show you guys the fix that helped me get this nitro back up and running. But I'll also show you guys a couple other fixes that you guys can try out if this fix doesn't work for you guys. So let's get under the hood. All right, so first thing you wanna check is your spur gear. If your spur is stripped, no matter how much you accelerate, the car is not gonna move. That's gonna be the first thing that you guys should check. Second thing you're gonna wanna check is your drive shafts right here. So here I have a drive shaft from another car. This one's your standard dog bone drive shaft with the two ends and the two pins on each end. Now, if one of these pins is broken, then you're probably gonna have all the power going to one side of the car, one side of the wheels, and your other wheel is not gonna spin, so your car is not gonna move. So this is definitely one of the things you should be looking out for. If your drive shafts are all good, this is what should happen to your wheels that power the car. So if I move the right one, left one moves, if I move the left one, the right one moves over here. So if you spin one wheel and your wheel doesn't move on the other side, then take them off and inspect what's going on on the inside. If you have a hex, make sure the hex is not stripped. And if you have the pin, make sure the pin slot is not stripped. So that was actually my problem. I was missing a pin on one side. You can see the little hole there. What I did, since this is an older model, I wasn't able to find the little pins. So I took this little nail here, cut it down to the correct size, put that in there, match it to the wheel, and mounted the wheel. And guys, if none of those fixes worked, then your best bet now is to actually go into the clutch and see if the spring's broken or if you need new clutch shoes. Now, it could mean that your clutch shoes are worn when they expand, they're not catching, or there's something wrong with the clutch springs that kind of goes around them and holds them together. So look into upgrading these parts, take apart the housing and check them out for yourself. If none of these fixes work for your car, then I don't know what to tell you guys. There's a lot of fixes here that I offered. Obviously, one of them worked for me. I hope one of them works for you. Let me know down in the comments if they do. Anyways, I'm finally glad I got this thing up and running. Stay tuned for more videos of this guy and other bills that I have coming up.